This is my story, Hunter. I doomed my kingdom. The demon invasion is my folly. The price of my pact with the dark powers. So strike me down. End the curse here and now. I am ready to pay for my sins. The sins of a scared, dying young girl. Your death will not annul the pact, Katerina. One evil never cancels another. We've all done things we regret. At least you had the courage to stand and face the consequences. So, what do you plan to do, Victor Vran? Boromir knew of your dark pact, your majesty. An ancient spirit is a confused being, but he might find some clarity at the place of his passing. We can learn more from him there. We do not know where the old Tsar perished, but we can point you in the right direction. The Volkovs were the keepers of the annals of Zagoravia since the city's founding. The whole family perished in the invasion, but hopefully the archive is still intact in their home in the High Quarter. My, my, now this is interesting. Quite the long shot, this. Find a ghost and make it part with its secrets. And the Volkovs. Oh, I think you know all too well that name, don't you, my dear? Through manipulation and blackmailing, the Volkovs' family name is known for having extreme influence in the kingdom and the protection of the crown. In the hunter's circles, though, they are known for hoarding priceless knowledge and forbidden rituals for sinister purposes. said that once a piece of information falls into the hands of the Volkovs, it forever remains theirs. All other bearers of said knowledge are rumored to wither and disappear. The Volkovs are vampires. That explains a lot. So much for the Vokov's clan, I guess. At least in Zagoravia. You do know they have footholds in quite a few cities. Right? Perhaps one day you will meet again. It says here King Boromir fell to a conspiracy of envious nobles and was poisoned. This happened in an old chapel that should be somewhere in the Onion Quarter, the poorest part of the city these days. Welcome to the Unleashed Quarter. Let me show you the sights. To your left, you can see the magnificent slum inhabited by the deprived workers who built the city with their sweat and blood. Is that what you're fighting for, Victor?
life hovers like a star, twixt night and morn, upon the horizon's edge. The ghostly star found his death. I wonder what you find. <laughs> set ablaze with fires to give no heat. The forces of darkness have already worked their way into the sanctum. No wonder if the spirit of the Tsar is still uncorrupted, or am I rushing into the next sinister trap? Demon powers, even in you, do not come any further. Don't listen to me, Victor. Your powers are going beyond his understanding. You must push forward. I shall suffer you no more abominations. Your foul taint has tarnished my city for too long. Be gone back into the well of worlds. Trust the steel in your hand and your heart to deal with the rest. Thank you for this, tainted hunter. I am Tsar Boromir, the first hunter. I had sworn to fight the demons in our world. It was I who built Zagaravia and established the Hunter's Order to guard a secret that could destroy us all. I built this city to hide and seal the Well of Worlds, a gateway to countless worlds beyond ours populated by demons and cosmic horrors beyond imagination and comprehension. For generations, my legacy has been passed down the royal lineage of Zagaravia. In time, my own kin forgot my words and the purpose given to them, and 
Now, now, one of my own blood has sealed a dark pact with the very forces I had sworn to fight. But who are you? I sense the demon taint within you. Flee and do not turn back, for the well of worlds will corrupt your thoughts and tempt your heart. I've been running away all my life. It's my time to stand and fight. Let me tell you my story. Once upon a time, there was a prosperous kingdom. Its citizens enjoyed a life of wealth, luxury, and knowledge. Until its greedy neighbors joined forces in a vile plot. Three armies surrounded the city and its fall was inevitable. The young prince, heir to the throne, was willing to do anything and everything to save the kingdom. In this most desperate hour, an old man whispered to him, Open yourself to powers beyond this world, for this world has forsaken you. Seal your fate, my prince. Those words burned the mind of the prince as fire. He took the power he was offered and fought like a demon, summoning lightning and fire from the sky. fled in fear. But great power always comes at a great price. The children starved, for the crops would not grow. His father died of an illness unseen. For the price of his power was the death and decay of everything around him. Even though he was the last of his bloodline, left his kingdom, for if he stayed, his people would suffer and perish. Now he wanders the world alone, never staying in one place for long, lest his curse catches up with him. I understand how you became tainted, Hunter. Your past mistakes may be attributed to the foolishness of youth. But are you any wiser now? Can you face demons and keep your hunter's word? I'm far past amends and redemption, but my heart is true. What must be done to break a demon pact? There is a way. You must find the physical object that embodies the deal. Destroy it, and the contract is void. The trouble is, this pact lies in the demon world. Point me towards the gate to the demon world, Boromir. Tell me where to find the Well of Worlds. I will reveal the location of the well to you, Hunter, but not yet. If you aim to release Zagaravia from its curse in the demon world, then I suggest you make sure there is a city left when you return. There are several demons currently in Zagaravia of immense power. Each one of them has the potential to annihilate the city and all survivors. I beseech you to defeat these monstrosities first. Return victorious, and I will entrust you with the secret of the Well of Worlds. Didn't you like that chap better when he recited nonsensical poetry to you? Tad too arrogant for a thousand-year-old corpse, I would say.